What's up, guys? It's Kingdom Watcher Seven saying hi. Um, bringing you guys my self video. Um, I haven't played the game for a while, and um, I gotta make this under ten minutes. But pretty much, um, I want to sell my bino and a couple of cards right there. I actually want to like probably sell this for five dollars, but the shipping's gotta be the expensive part. So anyhow, um, I have like two boxes of those. So yeah, there's spellground play minutes for sale. Well, you can't even see it now. Um, and this dog matches in play mode is for sale as well. And another spare ground play mode is for sale. So, yeah. Um, I don't send first to anyone. Um, unless I know you know you. And that's pretty much it. And just to verify it, um, I only take US money. Unless somehow you can transfer your money, then go ahead. Um, so yeah, secret for said, secret uh, from whatever ulti. And this quality sucks. I'm gonna. I need to change it. No, I can't change it. Oh, wow, that's much better. It's not even nighttime and. <laughs> um. Champion pack. Like I literally have to light on. That's the funny part. Why is it so dark? These should actually be in the hollow box that I'm gonna show in the next video so watch that that's real like seriously there needs to be more lightning in this video DDS DDS Legend of the Blue Eyes sets and you get like so yeah. Masic Force. S um from Dark Beginning 2. Black Rose, this one has a crease, if you can see. Yeah, there you go. I probably sell that for like between the twelve or fifteen dollars range. That's a first edition. That's a misprint secret snatch too, if you guys can tell. <laughs> With this line and you probably can't tell it anything. Seriously. Super gold gold super gold. The where tournament packs if you can see And if you guys notice, I have a new camo with me. That is very good. The lighting sucks. I have to literally turn the light on. Like, look. It is daytime. Look at that. It's freaking daytime. And it's all shadowy and stuff. So I need to probably change the camo. Super gold. Super. Um, first edition. Dark Quest Linear 2. I know these both are getting reprinted with another BLS, but um, these two I think are going to still be a, between the 20 or 25, just because they like to keep that. And look at this tax. Oops. Excuse me, YouTube. 
if you can't say anything, like name a time, and I can pop this half the crease, you can tell. Super. I think the last, yeah, this one's super too. Where? Well, super. Super party. Good stuff. Yeah, for your elemental hero players. I know you want that shit. And this is a misprint. I don't know how to value them, but I know a few people value them pretty good. So I can probably go fair on you. Super. I know I have a comment somewhere. Ulti, 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 ulti. Super from Dunk Beginning 2. I had a box and I did pretty good back in the days. Um, all these are from Battle Pack 1. This one's Starfoil. I probably sell the set for like $20. Make it 18 on 20. I prefer 24 whole place it and I can add some cards. Supers, Ultra, Ulti, Super, Dark Beginning 1. I mean, not Dark Beginning, that is Jump 2. And I need to quicken this up. Ulti. That's an ulti. I probably have to do this whole cell thing for three parts, so that kind of sucks. Secret, secret. This one has a crease, so I'll probably lower the value. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Super for sad. I mean, not super. Ultra. Wow. Um, Phantom of Darkness, Phantom of Darkness. Phantom of Darkness, still the best set even today. First edition, maybe not any more, but it's still the coolest set. Crush card, multis. Um, tournament packs, um, Dark Up Eden 2. Um, first edition, Dark Arm. I pulled that. And Destiny, um, Diamond Dew. First edition, non first edition. Um, Ultra, both the Ultras from Mint and from the Master Ghoulers, Monster Reborn, first edition, still Mint, from Dark Beginning 1. I mean, not Dark Beginning, um, Legend of the Blue Eyes. So, yeah. Um, Legend of the Blue Eyes, first edition from the starter deck. That's actually pretty high value somehow. So, yeah. First edition, Massive Force. Believe it or not, some people might know, know this, but it wasn't changed into this. I mean, this got changed after, but they, I don't believe this never got second printed um, as a first ad, except from the Legend Collection and also UV's World. Not, yeah, I believe so, yeah, yeah. First editions, um, that. And I believe this one is the LLD. Of in the other one is Yugi's board. So don't. I'm glad these haven't been reprinted. There's just some things Konami should never reprint. Just as a collector. Because then your value becomes low and, you know, gold. Um, whatever it's called. First edition, gold. First edition. I think I have another one of the. Yeah. It's two supers. And that's pretty much it for that part. And I'm also selling this. Um, this hasn't been code breaked in. So anyone that wants to buy this off me, I sell it probably like $20 or something. I believe the. Uh, yep, the code's still there. I'm not even going to show it, but the code's still there. And I haven't used it. I've played the game, but it hasn't been hack break, so I need to end this video right now, so I can go to part two. So I'll see you guys later.